that ain't the cutest thing you ever saw. Oh, I love it. Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. I think, oh, yep, all the puppies are in the bed still. Oh, it's freezing. I'm, I'm a, like a broken record. I seriously am. Um, I slept so good last night. It got down to like, I don't know, 22, 24, something like that. Um, I had a nice fire going when I laid my head down to go to bed. I woke up. It was... I don't know, 22, 24 outside, but it was still 41 degrees inside the tiny house, so that's good. Um, the insulation, I think, even a little bit I've got up is helping. Oh, that reminds me. Look at this. I got that one piece up, and it went to about right there. You can see where I started the new one. And I got the second piece up, and this goes to show. See, I even had a little bit of extra over there. Um, if I had done this first part right and pulled it the right way, I would have been able to get it stapled to the underside of that stud that goes up right there. But I got this second one up, and it went up pretty easily. And see, there's even a little extra overhang. I'm just going to leave it there. So I pretty much figured out how I need to do this. I need to get the parts that's going this way before I insulate the parts that are going that way. Um, and I got this second piece with the last little bit of a donation that someone sent me and a little bit of money that I had saved up, uh, in my Amazon account, like a dollar a day. So it's coming slowly but surely. And this is not the 10 foot, um, the 50 foot roll. It's just a 10 foot roll. Um, it's all I could afford at the time, but if I just do 10 foot at a time, that's okay. The, you know, basically... 20 feet all the way across so I've just got all of this left to do um, I'm not exactly sure how much more I'm gonna need I'm not good at judging you know all that kind of stuff but I'm gonna be able to get it done so I'm gonna start I may ask Mr. Lucas if he has a ladder and uh, see if I can get because in a few days probably about another week I'm gonna order another 10 foot roll of it the only thing is is it's more expensive ordering it by the 10 foot roll as opposed to the 50 foot roll but I'm kind of anxious to get it up so anyhow uh today let me turn this around um today I've been burning a lot of wood I bring bringing a lot of wood into the tiny house and so I need to go look for more wood I'm talking not kindling wood but big pieces of wood big trees Hopefully that have already started coming down, but it's just so cold, so I'm going to wait for a little bit for at least to get above freezing. Ugh, I'm not even fully woke up yet. Um, I tell you what, I just slept so good. I did not want to get out of bed if it wouldn't have been for the puppies jumping all over me. <laughs> Look at him. I, I wouldn't have gotten out of bed, but uh, I knew I needed to get the chickens. Go Puppies! <laughs> they bring me so much joy. Oh, my gosh. And I needed to let the chickens out so they could get some grub. So I'm going to let it warm up a little bit, and then I'm going to go look for some more wood because I need. I'm not going to be able to make it through the winter with the wood that I have on hand right now, so I need to keep up my quest with... Uh, wood Quest, Anne's Tiny Life Wood Quest. I need to do that today. But first, I gotta have some breakfast. That's my cranberry chutney on cream cheese over saltine crackers. I've done this so many times. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Mm, delicious. To start, I found this one. It's a cedar and it's pretty small, but um, I was able to kind of like just pull it out. This part is rotten, but the rest of this is pretty dry. The tip was down in the ground, so that's pretty rotten. So I think from here to here, I'm going to be able to get that cut up. But there are two more. You can see one that goes that way, and then the other that goes that way. I think they're both cedars. Um, I'm going to look and see which one would be safer to take down and take apart and pull out of there. Um, yeah, so I better get going. This one, um, it's got another tree on top of it, so when it starts coming down, that tree may come this way. 
So I'm not really sure about that one just quite yet. Um, I know I could get it down, but I'm thinking I'm going to try the smaller one over there first. Okay, I got the notch out. I shouldn't do that. Uh, and that went pretty easy. It's just a small one, small tree. So now I'm going to cut it this way and see if I can get it to fall. Okay, I've only gotten that far through and I've already heard three cracks, so... Papa's way over there. Let's just see. All right, I'm, I'm not going to do this filming. I'm going to use both hands and just gently push it, not rock it, and see if I can get it to fall. I got it. And yep, like somebody said, cedar, very fibrous. Once it starts going, it twists, and it did twist, but it went down this way. So now I just need to kind of cut it up into pieces that are small enough for me to be able to move. Not a huge one, but um, I won't have to split these. Um, I'm just going to cut them up and put them on the wood pile. I got it down, and it was tough just because the position it was in, when you start sawing this way and it was kind of bowed like this, the wood kind of pinched, pinched a blade, so I devised a method. I just cut it up, and now I just want to get it back to uh, the tiny house and get it cut up. It all fit in the wagon, but I have got to get it. The way I need to take it is I need to turn it back this way. I need to go this way all the way around there and in between there and <laughs> then all the way to the tiny house but there's a bunch of weird spots in between there and it might be likely to tip this over so I don't know um well I'm just gonna give it a try if, if it tips over and I have to keep putting wood back in that's just what I gotta do oh this is fun look at that pretty cedar what do you think I think I'm going to tip it. I think maybe if I back it up just a little bit, turn the wheels, I might be able to make it. Oh, this is not going to be easy because i got to go over this log. All right, it's another two-hand time. Hooray, I made it past the log. So now all i got to do is wind through here. And that's going to be super interesting because there's another log there. Uh, I'll just see you guys when I get to the tiny house. In this final part, it's easy to go down the hill. But right here, whoo, this is really tough. I wish I had a team of huskies. <laughs> Seriously. Let's get Papa and the puppies some harnesses. Put on work. I made it back to the tiny house and I did not spill a single piece of wood. It took a little bit, but it was worth it. It was worth not having to make separate trips for each log. So now I just need to cut it up. Oh, look at that. See that piece of wood? That's that piece of wood that I wanted to use for trim on the inside of the tiny house. It is actually bowed pretty well. That was my idea of trying to weigh it down. There's just no way. It is, it's had been this way for too long. So I'm just gonna cut that up and burn it in fire. So this was my Christmas tree. I had it perfectly decorated and spaced out, and the puppies have got into it. And I tell you what, these puppies, I love them. I do. But they have been driving me crazy. I've been using a few choice words that the Heavenly Father would not approve of. But they keep pulling this over. And I don't want them to kill it. They, I, I dug up another cedar, cedar tree. I'm just so tired. Um, in hopes that I can transplant it down by the street but I'm gonna have to find another place for this because even up on here they can still get to it that's it that's as good as it's gonna get I've tried to fix it a little bit I don't think it's gonna get any better than that and you can't put a whole lot on these trees because they're pretty fragile when they're young like this so I don't know uh, I don't know if I can build a barricade there's really nowhere else I can put it but I will be sure to show you a picture of it once it lights up tonight. It's got the solar light on it, and it actually looks pretty lovely. I've been on a break just for a little bit before I cut up all that wood, and FedEx just pulled up and dropped me off this. It's got something on the front of it, too. You know what time it is? I'm just going to cut into this and open it up. Um, I don't have the tripod with me, so... 
I can't cut this open and do it at the same time, so I'm going to open it up and show you what it is, and I don't know if there's a note, but we're going to find out. Okay, it's got not just one, but two packages in it, and it says the Swiss Colony. It says perishable, refrigerate at once, so I'm just going to crack these open, and that must mean it's something edible. Oh, I just noticed on the box it says a gift from Miss Donna B. Oh, Donna, you are so... Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a tin of something. I don't know what's in the tin, but I'm going to open... I'm just going to open this all up and show it to you once and for all. Oh my goodness. All right, the first box. Look at you guys. Delicious chocolates. I'm going to get so fat. Oh, oh my gosh. I bet you there's some caramels in there. I already know I'm going to love those. Oh, Donna, girl, you understand me so well. And look at the pretty box it's in. All right, let me see if I can just put this off to the side so the puppies can't get it and show you what else is in here. Look at this gift box. Oh, Lord have mercy. There's summer sausages, little cakes. What is this? What is this? The Swiss Colony Spice Flavor. Oh, here. <laughs> spice Flavor. Um, pasteurized process. Oh, it's cheese spread. And some little snacky thingies. Some cheese. Oh, more candy. More cheese. More summer. Oh, look at this. I'm not showing you. I'm not filming very well. Look at a little jar of orange marmalade and stone ground mustard. More snacks, more cheese, strawberry preserves, little candy. Oh, look at this. And more mustard. Look at this. Oh, Donna, thank you so, so very much. Oh, it's like Christmas come early. I am going to dig into this right now. Mmm. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so good, Donna. Mm. Mm. You guys don't want to sit and watch me eat, do you? <laughs> so I'm going to take that stuff inside. It says not. Uh, it says perishable um, and refrigerate right away, but it's, it's all shelf-stable stuff unless I open it and don't consume all of it. And uh, let's face it, I don't think there's a big chance of that happening. So um, it, it'll be fine without refrigeration. So I'm just going to go finish up cutting up the rest of that wood and... Um, <laughs> bring some more wood inside the tiny house because I've been going through a lot of wood and so I'm going to have to cut up a lot more wood. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.